good evening guys my name is m tommy pastor peace active ministry and i promised you that um i'm gonna give you updates regarding this documentary posted by bbc um two days ago okay so we have done um, several investigation also uh, trying to investigate every every bit of what they've posted there and every person that are involved in that documentary and i think the truth is finally unfolding and we we will get to the root of this matter we will not relent until we need, we have the culprit yes of course we know that these are all lies but we must prove beyond reasonable doubts that these lies are truly lies because some persons have been deceived some persons have been uh, brainwashed and they feel that whatever they're saying right now is is true but we we know that these are all lies fabricated stories and so i would like you to listen w listen to this and watch this video done by j israel of course you know uh, this is um this is a very powerful one of the uh, 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 biggest influence that we have on youtube too so if if he comes around to say this then you know exactly what it means and anyway i would like you to watch this video then we're gonna talk about it in the next episode if you have any question drop it here i'm always here to answer after a thorough examination of the claims made by the alleged victims of Prophet T.B. Joshua, my disappointment is particularly directed at Sithless BC of the Guanele Foundation, who in previous conversations openly admitted to me to prioritizing financial gain and displayed a willingness to go to any extent to secure it. So for those who don't know, he's talking about this lady who he once interviewed and who, she, who was saying that, you know, she she had an affair <laughs> with Pastor Chris and that she saw a python, she saw a huge snake and that she had an affair with Prophet Joshua and all other ministers. So the following evidence is, is going to be showing you that all those things were lies. So I want you to tell me what you think about this in the comment section and I'll leave the link to the full message that he has shared and i'll meet you in the next one as always god bless you around three years ago sithem made claims during an interview with myself and i'm sure you all remember asserting that she had been abused by pastor chris oyakilome and even recounted witnessing a sizable snake in the bedroom of, 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 of uh, uh, pastor chris despite all these allegations she failed to produce substantial evidence illustrating how easily stories are embraced without due diligence on social media. I am to rectify my prior involvement in defaming innocent individuals like Pastor Chris Oyakilome based on unfounded lies brought to me by elements, liars, such as Sithes BC and others. As an advocate for exposing false prophets and a champion of truth, I bring forth the authentic side of the first victim featured in the BBC News by the name of Sithle, whom I allege was remunerated by the news channel to fabricate stories. In other words, she was paid and I have the proof. My conversation with Sithle exposes her admission that the next story involving Pastor Chris was pure fabrication. To all members of the Christ Tembase family and Pastor Chris Oyakilome, I urge you to debunk all the claims formerly made by Sithless BC against Pastor Chris Oyakilome because she is unequivocally a liar of naught, a disgrace to womanhood. It is very disheartening to report that Sithless BC has a history of approaching various churches with the intent of engaging in intimate relationships with the men of God. Subsequently fabricating rape accusations against them, just as she did with Prophet Philip Banda from Zambia, who is based in Johannesburg, whom she accused of abuse. Today, the truth is out and supported by my personal experience attesting to her manipulative tactics as evidence by the presented conversations right at the end of this video i want you to be the judge once again and tell me what you think the evidence is there and it's overwhelming these are chats between myself and her sithless bc is characterized as a chronic liar an agent of deception 
and a master manipulator. Her false narratives extend beyond allegations against Prophet T.B. Joshua, encompassing the fabrication of stories about her own family, deceiving the public even with victimhood. She orchestrated her own husband's death, hired hitmen, poisoned her own husband, killed her own husband to gain insurance claims. Her threats and attempts to silence me further underscore her deceitful nature. I possess explicit photos sent by Sidley to myself and some claiming they were intended for Prophet T.B. Joshua. Yet she then alleges again that other disciples were blocking and preventing her from approaching the late Prophet T.B. Joshua. So when was she abused? Driven by a sense of responsibility and guided by the Holy Spirit, today I refuse to remain silent when the truth can counter the prevailing narrative demonizing a man even in his grave. Prophet T.B. Joshua being deceased cannot defend himself. And I have taken it upon myself as my moral duty to unveil the truth in the face of biased journalism. Regarding Sithia's encounter at the Synagogue Church of All Nations, she visited Scorn with Prophet uh, Philip Banda. That is why you will see pictures of Sithia at Scorn. She did go there because Prophet Philip Banda was her then pastor. But regarding her close relationship with Prophet T.B. Joshua, it's a lie. She was never in any close proximity with the late Prophet T.B. Joshua. So when was she abused? When were all these rituals done that she's claiming were done on her? In response to Sithia's threats of the BBC News pursuing legal action against me, <laughs> my name is Jay Israel. I stand resolute, denouncing partial journalism and embracing the pursuit of unbiased truths. I shall not succumb to fear. My conscience impels me to share revelations that contribute to a more accurate understanding of the events in question. Prophet T.B. Joshua has helped millions of souls globally. And this mere campaign is designed to discredit his legacy and destroy the good works that he has done over the years. I will not sit down and watch. I will not sit down and just watch all this happening in my sight when I know the truth. I would like to give my final response to everyone attacking me for defending the truth, attacking me from speaking the way that I'm speaking, asserting that I have exposed individuals before, including the late Prophet T.B. Joshua, Prophet Jeremiah Omoto for fame, wonderful men of God whom I love so much, Apostle Johnson Suleiman, Apostle Joshua Iginla, Prophet Makandiwa, Prophet Yuber Angel, a great prophet of our time, the prophet to Christianity. I am no longer that person. I choose peace with all servants of God. I don't want conflict with anybody. I elect here, therefore today, to have a love for all servants of God. But I will not countenance falsehoods that may bring ruin upon innocent individuals in the name of speaking out or social media. Subsequent to my dealings with Sithle, my focus will shift to Bisola, the lady with eyes logged in mutual gaze who alleges abuse but purportedly sought matrimony with the individual in question and it was unsuccessful. She wanted Prophet T.B. Joshua to marry her.